guys welcome back to my channel Mississippi girl gardening and saving it and see I'm Tamika coming at you with not an oldie but a good video so y'all I'm doing an update today is May 20th so like I told y'all they they getting like daily updates or either a couple days updates um, with the weather things are moving a little slow but things are picking up which is still a good thing so I'm gonna go through the garden we're gonna get close and personal see what's going on i got my little harvesting just in case i need to take something off i got one thing in mind that i think i'm probably gonna have to take off but we're gonna see y'all so sit back and relax and enjoy this video all right y'all so we're gonna go over to this part okay so look at the marigolds y'all look at the marigolds I started those from seeds and remember a couple weeks ago I put the Dusty Millers under here yes I had planted some Dusty Millers under there they is doing good but these I planted from seed y'all they are overtaking like going over my thing so I have my um, petunias right here some more Dusty Millers and some Savia um, and then these are some African marigolds yes um, and like I say, these are my marigolds. These are African marigolds crackerjack blend. So that's what those are that I did from seed. But yeah, so these are my marigolds. And then over here, I got to put unknown in here. This is what I just transplanted yesterday. Um, these are my pepper plants from seeds that I just transplanted yesterday. I got to get them out here with the rest of it. I just had them sitting there, y'all. It's just a lot of work, okay? Um, this is some white eggplant right here white eggplant and all these eggplants um i sorted from seeds so we see how they look they got green night and stuff like that so y'all done saw these they still growing um right here is what is this um this is my mad hatter pepper that y'all saw it was so small well it was way smaller than this and it is growing good a orange bell is growing really really good um let's come right here right here is my green fire pepper that's another green fire pepper so let's go over here in the inside uh right here is oh this is what i just transplanted they are the green gorilla um zucchinis so they are growing really really good um this is some more of them now over here we got um my white scallop squash my lemon squash um over here my acorn squash acorn squash crook neck squash so this is what i want to get close with y'all about okay it's going to be let me zoom back some it's going to be my zucchinis right now so my zucchinis i have to be careful with them because how they are growing up that um bottom wire is trying to affect them so what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up taking some of this greenery off oh, I took that one off some of that greenery off well this is a um, just a crook neck squash right here not a zucchini but um, I'm going to end up taking some of the greenery off and that way I can see in there really good not a lot of them because you need your greenery for you know the photosynthesis and stuff like that but I'm going to have to go in and get some of these bottom leaves so i think we're gonna go ahead and do that now um just a couple things that needs to be done uh, because of the fact that it's how they growing through my trellis okay so if you can see right here like i have these two right here that are like bent over and when you look i'm gonna make sure y'all can see see they're bent oh it's bent over right there so it ain't serving me no purpose by being bent over like that. So I'm just going to snip. That way I can look and see better. Probably going to the bottom. See, now I got a clean shot where I can look and see better. And I can see everybody else that's in flower. So this is one thing, y'all, you have to... Like I say, you have to watch your plants. And it's because I have them trellised. I'm trying to do this with one hand. I won't do all of them on camera, but I want to let you guys see how I'm doing it. So I'm going to take this one off right here too. It ain't got no flower or nothing hooked to it. Uh, 
So you see, I took that off. Um, that's a zucchini. So now I could be able to see good, but it still has enough leaves on there to keep it. So this one over here has some that's been drooped down. So I'm just gonna go under here, nip them like that. Um, nip them. That way I can see. Up, I got you on the leaves, y'all. I'm trying to do this with one hand. So see, I can see what's kind of going on up in here. And like, this one right here done broke because he was, and this is one plant now, y'all. Okay, but I wanted to do these vertically. So I got some of those off. That allows room for things to grow since I am growing them vertically like this. So y'all can see now really, really good um, what's going on. Like I say, this is a zucchini. I'm going to cut that one. That way I can see. <clears throat> All right. So now I can see really good. And it still have the shade and stuff like that. See, this one is one right here that's having a hard time. It's all, so I'm going to cut this piece off and I get it out of there. <laughs> Y'all can see, I'm going to have to pull this one off. And see, I lost the flower right there, but the fruit is still there. So hopefully he be good. But this is what I'm saying, y'all. You have to watch your plants to know what's going on. See that? That thing got stuck. So getting all that off. And there's a lot of them right here. So I'm going to have to push that over because it's like preventing some from growing. So I got a lot of them right there. So um, watch your plants, y'all. But they'll be just fine. Um, like right here, I got a lot of them in there. A lot of them going different ways. But I need to be able to see in there so I can see what is going on, okay? So... What I'm going to do right here is I'm going to cut from the top. That'll give me a clear shot of what's going on in there when it comes to these, okay? Um, so, yeah, and I'm going to clean this up so don't know bugs and stuff be coming. But I wanted to show y'all that because they can get crowded. This is one plant in a bucket, but it's because I am growing them vertically, okay? And they grow like crazy like this one right here go ahead and take him out that way it's open for me to see um that some may be okay so um all these is squash and zucchinis and like i said i do the rest of them and prune everything back some um not on camera because it's hard to do with one hand but let me show y'all right here see like right here this one has sat in the dirt in the dirt and I have been watching it ain't growing no more. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one. Because when it gets like that where it's in sight, it will bring a lot of unwanted bugs, okay? Let me go ahead and take him. See, he was starting to rot because he has sat right there. So we're not gonna keep him, but now the energy can go on that one. So we're gonna toss him and I'm just gonna keep my eyes up oh, sorry y'all gonna keep my eyes open for everybody else um and see how they do but like I say all these is the zucchini and squash and everything like that and peppers um so that's how that area looks so I gotta constantly watch because we got peppers growing um, and none of these is ready or anything, but I'm going to show you guys. So, y'all, look. <laughs> got peppers right there. Got peppers growing. Um, got some over here. Got flowers right here. So, I know they coming soon. 
we got peppers right here so everybody is coming on up okay i know the purple bell over here is producing uh, right here y'all and we got little peppers right there so that's why i say y'all you have to watch you have to watch your plants and then the tomatoes over here uh it's still doing really really good y'all can see got a couple of big ones on here y'all you can see from that side and it's gonna be full of tomatoes full of tomatoes y'all so everything is good so there's another little spot i wanted to look at i saw something earlier today um let me see so i'm gonna give y'all a look of you know everything we just saw and i told, showed you how to do the zucchini and the squash when stuff start growing like that peppers and the tomatoes and stuff like that y'all everything's doing good but over here oh, it's going crazy but right here y'all is what i wanted to look i see something crowning so this was my purple top um globe so because it's crowning i'm gonna pull him up he is small <laughs> He's so small, but it is what it is. I pulled him up, and it was something else I wanted to look. Oh, I wanted to look into my radishes. These things, oh, yep, that's a big B first. I ain't finna, I'm gonna let him work for it. I come back over there, because he's working. Yeah. So, <laughs> because I don't believe in taking all my neat leaves off of my plants, this is what we're gonna do. So, we came back to this plant right here. We're gonna cut. Use some wire colors, cutters and gonna cut that. So I wanted to show y'all, you know, you just have to figure out things to do in the garden. So I wanna do vertically, so we're gonna cut that. They'll give it some room for them to grow. Bam, just like that. Probably gonna do that for a couple more, um, a couple more plant, a couple more of these, cause it's the squash and the, uh, Zucchini that really and then we just take that piece out so now they got room to do because a lot of them is right there so um let's see that's what i wanted to show you guys what is that though over the fence oh, okay so i wanted to um uh, show y'all that so keep that in mind you, you can you know it's different things you can do to make it work okay Okay, y'all, so I like to look at my carrots. I'm going to find one that's kind of tall. I just want to pull him to see what he look like, okay? So this is one right here. So we're going to check to see what they looking like. So, yeah, you see that? Looking real good. Not ready yet, but this is what I do. Not ready yet. I put it back. <laughs> I put it back, okay? Put it back. Um, so yeah, y'all. So we looked at that and I already pulled up the potatoes and stuff. And I'm gonna go over here and look at these um beans. Got this big bee over here. Look, y'all. He working. Let's see. Hold up though. Oh, he big. He's big and mean looking. I'm walking back this way, y'all. Oh my goodness, let me see if I can draw him close. Y'all see him? Look how big that thing is. Mm-mm. I don't want to get around him. I want him to work and do his thing, but, you know. So, let's go over here and see if we can see why he over there, um, the beans. So, the beans is doing really, really good. They flowering. Um, I love to see that, but that's going to be a lot of beans, y'all. There's two different types of beans right there. Um, and so, now we're going to go over here because I ain't playing with that bee, y'all. <laughs> I ain't playing with that bee. So, over here to the cucumbers. So, I was able to trellis um them a little bit better because they are growing like crazy these are the straight eight ones right here the straight eight cucumbers 
and I put the little plant clips on them and they got flowers and normally when they, you know they got flowers that's fruit coming so um they all down there they doing really really good everybody is growing nicely off up in here even the cucamelons um down here so I was able to put these little trellis like things up so I'm trying to work them to help them trellis up these these little um these little trellises right here so I put these three you over there where that bee is so um I was able to put those up there so the corn and the okra is doing really really good so let's go back here y'all this is my corn and this is my okra so okra is doing really really good so still got peppers and everything right there and i keep crawling over um these um spider webs so yeah so it's going over here update on the blackberry so the last time i did an update was a couple days ago three days ago not long at all and this is what's happened with the blackberry bush so got a lot of blackberries look at this yes and it's constantly putting on new greenery and stuff this is kylie's um flower that she had planted from the bulb and it's finally coming look how weird it looks though weird <laughs> so the gourds is happy and doing their thing the blueberries is doing good we have a couple blueberries that gonna be ready soon so see those let me see right here and then right here um so they coming along we'll be picking those soon um over here is where the watermelons and cantaloupes is so this cantaloupe the watermelons i did the watermelons and i did these cantaloupe from seed um more tomato plants over here because I ran out of room. Uh, my pear, my pear tree and my plum tree, still over here. Man, when I got them, they were just sticks on them. But I'm looking at, I see some, some, some on the leaves that I'm gonna have to take care of. Look like some spider mites. So I'm like that. I'm gonna have to take care of that and see what that's about. But I ain't too, I'm too worried about it. Okay. So the tangerine, the Mara lemon. I don't know what it's doing. It's putting on more leaves and it's doing something. I don't know. I'm watching this thing. Like I said, I'm letting it do whatever it do. But I do see some little lemon buds coming. So that's why I say I'm going to let it do what it do. I had to get all this old uh, stuff off. This is my, uh, remember it was just a little stick. This is my pomegranate. I'm going to have to cut that. My pomegranate um, tree. It's doing good. My tangerine tree. Wait a minute. trying to see what that is right here on oh, my tangerine it's doing something like it's flowering y'all wouldn't it get out of here all right so right here is my watermelon mango i started from seeds my cantaloupe remember i had to cut all the dead off when we got that unexpected cold and i cut all the dead off the other day and now it's all back lively and looking nice um my watermelon jubilee right here these are the kids' flowers. So let me show y'all what the, the raspberry is doing. Since I did the update, it um, it's some flowers, some more, and it's gonna be having them raspberries soon. Oh, and let me show y'all my muscadine. Remember, if y'all been following me, remember this was just a stick. It looked just like this when I bought it. That's it. Look at all these muscadines, and they big too. They loving that bucket. Look at this. Yes, 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 yes. Woo, look at that. Yes. They all down here. I got to trellis them because it's some down there. So, um, oh, it's a B. So, yeah, y'all. Okay, y'all, so look right here. This is the little area where hubby is doing all his peppers. Hot peppers, jalapeno peppers, cayenne peppers. You name it, he doing peppers. And right here is his poblano pepper. It is getting 
bigger and bigger. And you know, he doing the Carolina Reaper and the red, um, the ghost pepper. And I'm also doing the smoking egg Carolina Reaper and I'm doing the ghost pepper too. So I wanted to show y'all for that bee interrupting me was these radishes. So we're going to check on these radishes because they doing the most. All right, so I'm finna pick up one of these things and see what is going on. We're gonna check together, y'all. Okay, we're gonna check together because all these flowers I would just take this stuff up because I could use this bin. See, these supposed to be icicle radishes. Like, I don't know if that's the root or the radishes. I don't know. These are the long white icicle. Okay. So I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Let me take up one more and see. I don't know. This is one that gets me. Okay, look. Okay. So that one looks like a radish. So long white icicle. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to stick him back in there. Just until I do my research on that one. Because I haven't grown that. But I, I will eat it. <laughs> I like stuff like that. So, since I know these, I'm going to stick that one back in there and I'm going to do my research. And then I'll do another video for y'all. Because long, it's getting bigger now. Now, we can roll with that. It's getting bigger now. It's getting bigger. So, before that bee come back, let me go over here and just get up close and personal with these, uh, these beans for y'all. That bee was hindering me. Um, so, y'all see? And those are like them big guard bees too, y'all. You go, you got different type of bees and uh-uh. Um, so y'all see these beans, they are flowering. I can't wait, y'all, because when they start producing, they produce a lot, okay? Let me show you some remember this thing was dead, dead, dead. I mean, I mean it was bad and I cut it. It's doing good. Look like she happy. This is the hydrangea that I uh, that I got from Walmart for five dollars. Red price was twenty dollars. And she doing good. I'm waiting for her to blossom again. They did her so bad. One watering her or nothing. Hmm. Okay, y'all. So up here, yesterday I transplanted these uh, southern collards. They real droopy now. But don't worry. That's what they do. They gonna bounce back, okay? They gonna bounce back. Trust me. They gonna bounce back. So all the ones that I did, they are like drooped over and stuff like that. They'll be just fine. These are my Swiss chards. Remember I did that harvest on the Swiss chards. My curly collards right there. My Georgia collards over there. Let me get y'all up close and personal with them. Um, some more Georgia collards back there. So they're going to be doing really, really good. I got some Swiss chard in this little thing right there. My shelf basil that I had cut the top off from it. Look how that's the grew back. Mm -hmm. um, up here is my little bulb plant, the Latrice. I think that's how you say it. I gotta cut the dead off here because they've been blooming like crazy, but now they got new blooms. So I had to cut the ones that's then died back. This is my white rose. It's time for me to cut that off. Now my little red rose and bloomed and everything. Um, sunny meadows and stuff like that. So I'll probably do that tomorrow while I come and cut everything off. Um, Y'all remember I took some of that um, basil over there and stuck it in here. Oh, oh, that's a ladybug. I didn't know what that was, y'all. Finna go. So, um, but I was trying to show y'all. You see it? It's growing. That's my dinosaur kale. I gotta harvest that. Um, let me get on over here. I got a strawberry. Oh, Summer, can I get by? So, I got a strawberry right here that I'm gonna take off because it is ripe and it's pretty and it's ripe and it's pretty uh, uh, got a strawberry put it right there um so let me get over here so I can show y'all the ground cherries they are flowering even more they was flowering the other day but they just continuing on y'all so all these are the ground cherries I got the peaches is still doing good so I can show you oh I'm showing that down there if I can find him y'all see the peach doing really really good the ones that's on there um 
they doing good over here the figs are getting bigger and bigger and y'all look it is loaded with figs it is loving being up here I mean it is just loaded with figs yes loaded with figs so yeah and then this is my chocolate mint it's going crazy um, and then over here these are strawberries so let me show y'all something y'all remember that pitcher plant the plant that's supposed to open up and, and and they had the little sacks on it and I said I'm gonna cut it all the dead off and then I'm gonna keep it there it go so GT Junior grows it zone 4a Alaska you remember this one look what's happening she is coming back alive so I'm gonna leave her right in that corner and I've been giving her that good old uh that good old uh hose water <laughs> and right here is my um my sweet mint okay and so yeah y'all that's the that's the garden update okay you guys so that's the garden tour i hope you guys enjoyed it as much as i did filming it so i hope this is motivational for y'all i hope it's motivation for y'all um so don't forget to like comment and subscribe hit the notification bell so you can be notified each and every time that i upload a video and i'm gonna see y'all in the next one y'all y'all be safe and until next time y'all happy gardening Bye.